I'll start by asking, uh, when you were first preparing for the role as Daisy, uh, did you draw more from the script or, or the novel that this is based on? Uh, it was only the script for me because I didn't actually read the book until after I had made the film, um, which was a, a conscious decision, um, basically just because I wanted to focus on the, the screen version of the book, of the story. Um, so yeah, so I, I think, um, I mean, what really drew me to Daisy was the fact that she was quite unlikable at first and um, was a bit abrasive and had uh, quite a tough attitude. Um, and I hadn't, re I hadn't played anyone like that before and that's what made me really desperate to want to play her, so. It must have been quite interesting to read the book after you'd made the movie and was there anything that you ever thought, oh, I would have done that differently or would have changed that at all? No, I mean, I've read kind of bits of it because I remember, after Lovely Bones, I went back and I and I read the book afterwards and I got so emotional. I mean, that's a tough book anyway, but I got so emotional reading it and could only picture everything that we had done in the film. So, um, so it's always a really different experience, I think. Anything afterwards that's attached to the film is kind of, you have a very um, subjective view on it, you know, so. Yeah. And you, you mentioned Daisy being slightly unlikable to begin with. She is very stroppy, but that must have been quite yeah. quite fun to play, I, I imagine. It was so great. It was really, really great. But I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to bring enough attitude to it and I wasn't going to be bitchy enough, um, even though I can be. But <laughs> um, but I remember that was one note that Kevin would always give me. He'd come over and he'd just say, yeah, just bitch it up a little bit, you know. And I was like, okay, Kevin, thanks. Um, but it was great, I, you know, I loved doing it. And it was nice as well that she has that change too, that she starts to become a bit more understanding because she has to, but at the same time, she, I think she still holds on to who she is, you know. She doesn't become a softie, I don't think. Of course, uh, when you play an American character, the whole accent changed, but did you have to change much in regards to your kind of demeanour and the way you kind of presented yourself and would walk and kind of just act, I suppose? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, I do think that in a good way, an accent does kind of define you. It defines the way um, you uh, react to things, the way you express yourself, even like hand movements and things like that, I think. Um, and one of the things that really helped me to arrive at Daisy was her walk. I always feel like that's really important for a character. So the strut that she had and, um, as you say, the way she held herself and all that kind of stuff, it really came into it for me. It really, really helped. Of course, you've been in this in industry now since you were sort of 10 or 11 years old, and now as a 19-year-old, and ro romantic films are starting to become a, a kind of genre you're, you're sort of getting into and exploring. How, how are you finding that jump from being kind of a child actress to, to being involved in romantic narratives and, and that side of, of cinema? Yeah, it's fine, you know. Um, I think naturally that's what starts to happen after a while, you know? Um, I mean, I think I was lucky because when I was a kid, I always was involved, usually in adult dramas. Um, so I didn't feel the jump too much. I mean, it's tricky now at the moment because I'm 19, so I'm not a 22-year-old woman yet, but I'm not a 15-year-old girl either, so it's kind of hard to find the balance with what you want to do, and you don't just want to do a romance for the sake of it just because you're that age, and you know. Um, but there's a lot of great stuff out there that isn't just about the romance, you know. There's, there's a great story around it, so... Um, I think it's important to find things like that if you can. And you're working very close with Harley Bird in this film. Uh, do you yeah. see much of yourself in her as a very kind of confident, very talented young actress? Uh, no. <laughs> Har no, Harley and I were completely different. Because um, Harley, Harley's so bubbly. I mean, I think I was, I was a kid when I was younger and everything, but Harley is so out there and so expressive about everything and just like, I don't know, she kept us all going. But uh, but it was great actually to be with a kid on set again, you know, being one of the older people on set for the first time, it was nice to have to have such a close relationship with her, so. Of course, you're playing yet another kind of very strong female lead role. And I was wondering, because you must have spoken to lots of uh, older actresses who have spoken about the difficulty in finding these sort of roles, but do you think from your own experience that the tide is turning? For female actors in general? Um, I think it is, yeah. It seems to be. I mean, I think it's always great having actors around that are at the top of their game, like Kate Blanchett, especially at the moment, 
at any moment and Tilda Swinton and, and people like that who choose who have always chosen really great character roles and very strong women um, and I think as long as people like that are at the forefront producers and screenwriters and directors will have to make films like that you know um, so it's great to have people like that around and have you got any intentions of moving into to being behind the camera, being a director yourself? Have you been inspired by sort of Ryan Gosling, for example, having worked with him recently as, as his sort of directorial debut? Yeah, well, I always look to the director for pretty much everything, you know. Um, and I have learned a lot from the directors that I've worked with. Ryan and the likes of Peter Weir and, um, and Kevin and Pete Jackson, people like all these really great people, Joe Wright. Um, and they're all very, very different in the way they approach telling a story. So it's all, you always learn, I think, so much. I don't think I'm ready to do it yet, um, but I would, I would really love to do it because it's so creative as well and all-encompassing, so. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank, thank you. you. Please.